People once believed the earth was flat because that's what their eyes showed them and seeing is believing. Eventually, they were able to elevate their perspective and realize they'd made a mistake. When you look at this map, you might see Israeli communities encroaching on a future Palestinian state. Seems obvious, but it's a mistaken flat earth perspective for two reasons. Number one, the Palestinians themselves have rejected a two-state solution over and over again because one of the states is Israel. And when they say from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, they mean free of Jews. A Gallup poll in October showed that only 24% of Palestinians support a two-state solution. The rest want to eliminate Israel as a condition to having their own state. The second reason this map is so misleading becomes obvious when we elevate our perspective. Here is the Jewish homeland on a map of the Arab Muslim world. It defies common sense for anyone to say there is no room for Israel in a landmass so vast it encompasses curvature of the earth. Jews have a 3,700 year history in this sliver of land, according to both the Bible and the Quran. And yet these people passionately call for Israel's destruction because there is no room for us here. Gaza was an experiment in giving the Palestinians autonomous control over a portion of that land. They could have built a Mediterranean paradise or a center of commerce like Dubai. Instead, they built a fortress of tunnels and missile sites ensconced among hospitals and schools for the purpose of attacking Israel. When Israel retaliates as any state would, their leaders claim genocide. But in fact, Israel sacrifices its own soldiers to root out terrorists via urban combat rather than use weapons of mass destruction. In truth, the radical Palestinian leadership is a death cult that brainwashes and sacrifices its own children to win a propaganda battle against Israel. Many kind and well-meaning people absorb these lies because they can't imagine a group of people would value death and destruction over life and peace. But once you've seen the whole map, you understand what's really going on. May we soon see a secure and lasting peace for all people in the Holy Land.